and welcome to today's vlog. Hiya. Hello everybody. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks for all the comments. We love the comments. We do reply to every single one eventually. Yep. So yeah, if you've got anything to say Ooh. or any questions. Oh, I've got lots of hours to kill. Yeah. <laughs> She does answer them th through me. I'm usually the one who does the um, typing. Oh yeah, I can't be doing with that. So apologies for any spelling mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> that means spelling mistakes, by the way. Uh, and if you want a little bit of extra content, aside from all the videos, we post some photographs that you don't see anywhere else. And we do have a little bit of a chat. We tell you what we're doing on Patreon and also as a channel member. So mm -hmm. you can join those. Yeah. Links are down below in the video description. Totally up to you. Anyway, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to leave Leicester and head off south, basically. Yeah. Uh, no idea where we're going to moor up. We've got a couple of places in mind, um, but as it's bank holiday weekend, we're not sure how busy or quiet they're going to be. I think it's going to be fine. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we're with the bears again. Yeah. That's uh, Andy and Steve. We're going on Steve. a bear hunt. Andy and Steve, the bear hunts. <laughs> Bless them. the bear hunts? Yeah. yeah. No, careful. Oh yes, I've got to be careful. Yes. Bears aboard, yeah. If you haven't followed them or uh, have seen their vlog, I'm sure you must have done. Uh, again, I'll put a link down here somewhere. Yeah, they're lovely. Absolutely lovely. Great couple of guys. Um, so we'll be travelling with them for a little bit and then we're going to find up somewhere to more. Yeah, they're helping us because I've done my back in. That's yeah. why we didn't move yesterday. Yeah. So just be careful. We've been holed up in Leicester for a few days, which is no bad thing because there's plenty of things to do around here. Yeah, loved there's it. There's a nice little Londish shop you can go to if you're moored here at Friars Mill. Um, Half a minute that way. <laughs> yeah, and basically the other side of the car park. Yeah. And then you've obviously got the city centre and everything else that, that provides all the amenities. So yeah. we've got plenty of things to do around here. But we've had a great time here and we're going to move off back down the saw and I think after about three or four locks, I think it's actually the third lock, King's Lock, um, the saw disappears and it becomes the Grand Union Canal Leicester section. Oh right. So we've gone back on a canal. However, the locks will stay as uh, wide locks until we get to the bottom of Fox and Locks if I believe. Okay. Rightly, I think I can oh. remember. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm cold now, let's get in the sun. <laughs> let's get in the sun and let's get moving. lock of the day oh what have I forgotten what have I forgotten hope you like it I bought it at uh, last year's Crick show might get another one this year what do you reckon now if you're a follower of football English football in particular then obviously you would be a supporter of Leicester City and you'd be going oh Tony where did Leicester City play well they used to play at a ground called Filbert Street now it's called the King Power Stadium 
which is right next door to where we are at the moment. Morning boys. Good morning. Leicester City, the Foxes, the fantastic Foxes on the day, have won the FA Cup at last. Lock number three.
I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, Tony, this is lock four. You said you were going to moor up after lock three. Sure, that's what you said. Yeah, but you know what I'm like with numbers. <laughs> anyway, it's lock four. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, you can see I've got the old Mac on and um, it is looking a bit wet today unlike yesterday of course as you saw the sun was out beautiful day we've got to move on today because our two cassettes are full well one is definitely full the other one is getting very close because i suspect that's probably one of the reasons why a lot of people don't come on this part of the leicester section um or do the leicester ring is because the facilities are few and far between so we've got to get to Kilby Bridge, which is several locks away from here, about eight locks. Um, but this morning has been absolutely gorgeous. Stones throw away from a sh retail shopping park, which has been handy. But um, yeah, time to move on. And like I say, possibly gonna rain today. But hey ho, we've got the bears with us. So that should make light work of the locks. First lock of the day. I don't know why more people don't do the Leicester Ring. You've got rivers, canals, locks, cities, places to visit, lots of villages along the way, changing countryside. Uh, it really is um, a very good ring, I think. And of course you can always deviate and go up the Ashby Canal as well. Gives you even more rural options. But yeah, if you ever get the chance, a couple of weeks, do the Leicester Ring. Morning Steve. Good morning. Morning Andy. Are we filming each other? We are. <laughs> <laughs> We're filming buddies. <laughs> okay Jan. Right well, Steve. Hey. How do you pronounce the name of your boat? Searsha. 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 As in Searsha Ronan the actress. Oh right okay. And it means Gaelic freedom. Freedom. Oh, yeah. there we go. See you Perfectly show. apt. So perfectly apt, no. Nice. Open the gate. And is this your normal configuration? You down here and Andy up there? It is. Yeah. yeah. Is that yours? Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't really taught Jan how to do locks yet from no. the and this you, side. Sometimes we swap. Yeah. Andy has just retrieved a fence post that is the other side of the lock gate. No Andy, don't take a fence. <laughs> the reeds need cutting down a bit. It's effectively turned the canal into a single channel. Well, they start on this side. Uh, 
I don't know if you can see ahead. And they're on that side then. They get nice and steady. trying to work out what lot number this is. How many have we done today? Have you been keeping up viewers? Yes, we're all okay. You can open the paddles. Right, Steve, where are we? Lock, lock 33, bush lock. Thank you. Thank you for that update. Oh, yes please, a pint of IPA please, landlord, thank you. You sure? No, no offence, but this will be a seventh. Lock 427 today. I might have exaggerated by 420. Slightly. Slightly, yeah. <laughs> but we're close, we've only got two more locks to do after this one. And then it's hunt the moor in. Hunt the moor in, hunt the moor. I think, I think Jan's finally found someone she can talk to all day. This is the penultimate lock. So we've got another one to do after this. And then it's playing the game of Hunt the Mooring. But there are facilities where we're gonna stop and moor up. So we may need to get those first before we find a mooring. 
I don't know because we've never been here before and I never rely on the map to be 100% accurate about where the facilities are. So we'll just take it easy and have a look. The beauty of having a cassette L sandpoint is that we can wheel them down to wherever. We don't have to moor up anywhere ne right next to them if you see what I mean. There goes our intrepid lock team, Andy and Jan. And of course I got it wrong again. There's two more locks, at, well there's this one and another one so this is not the last lock because I thought the last one was the last but one lock so this would have been the last lock but it isn't there's another one after this. It's just appeared on the map. That bloke Brindley you know he loves building locks and stuff you just can't stop him once he gets going. Lovely job, Steve. I didn't feel a thing. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Well, this is where we've been for the last couple of days. About to move off, the weather hasn't changed much. Still raining, still a bit overcast, but never mind. We've been given some intel about where to moor up next, which means some locks. Now there are actually about 11 or 12 locks, I think, between here and the tunnel. We've got a tunnel to do. And then that's it for large locks, the double locks. And then the next locks will be Foxton locks but I think we're going to nip to market up before then. But first of all... Morning! <laughs> Hello. There. <laughs> there she is. Hello. Um, but before all of that, we're going to nip over, top up with water and empty the toilet. As usual, that's what you do before you go if you've got the chance. Bye bye Kilby Bridge, lovely moorings. Uh, there's a pub there called The Navigation. Used to do food, sadly it doesn't anymore. I think Covid and the closures put pay to that basically and they haven't really recovered since. So it doesn't serve food anymore. However, they will allow you to bring in your own takeaway. So if you order something from one of the uh, ordering companies that delivers or if you want to nip into Wigston there's quite a few takeaways down there they'll let you eat inside and it's a lovely little pub very good highly recommended nice and friendly staff good choice of beers wines and spirits as they say especially all the fancy schmancy gins that uh, everybody seems to be drinking these days but uh, it's a bit drizzly and we're underway again
We're in the first lock of the day. I think there's seven, seven jam, seven, yeah. I think there's seven to do. And then there's somewhere nice we can moor up. It's just, the sun is sort of trying to come out, but unfortunately there are some gray clouds getting in the way. Never mind. And we're just waiting for the bears. Can you see them? Are they, are they here? No, not yet. They will be. They're just doing the same as us this morning. They're doing the water and cassette toilets. Well, while we've got a couple of minutes waiting, I'll just show you how big these lock gates are in these double locks, or I should say wide locks. Everybody says double locks, but they're not. That means there's two. It's not. They're wide locks as opposed to narrow locks. We've got, a, I think, 11 or 12 to do today and tomorrow because I'm going to split them in half. And then when we get to Foxton, they go back to single locks. So at the end of here, this is as far as wide beams can get. But uh, yeah, just these are quite heavy gates. So if you're on your own. Uh, it is a bit of a task and this section there is quite a few of them and that may be why people get put off doing the Leicester ring I don't know I mean there's other rings like the Warwick ring for instance where you've got the Hatton flight so I don't think it's that that puts people off it shouldn't do really because they're part of the um, all part of the fun and camaraderie of boating Good morning guys. Good morning. Good morning. Fully watered. <laughs> Thank you. Rubbish. That was last night at the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've just discovered the pound between there's, there's three locks together and the pound is quite low so we've got CRT um, yeah if you can yeah I'll wrap it around a bollard or the or the thing if you can do you want it All fun and games, isn't it? So, um, Steve and Andy managed to get just the other side of the lock gates, um, but that pound is really low. We're still in the lock, and CRT have turned up, as you can see, and we're gonna let some more water down, so. I think they've gone down to the next, like I say, there's three locks in quick succession here. So I think they've gone down to let some more water out. <laughs> oh, oh, look at them knees. Oh, Classy, look. isn't it? Oh, Classy. what's your name, Angela Rayner? <laughs> oh no, because you haven't got a ginger. Steve's going. I've got a flow on then. Oh, I say. <laughs> oh, look. Ooh, look at that. It's a bit low, Andy. Oh yeah, that piece of land over there is filled now. See where the reeds go in? Yeah. That was just complete ground, that's how I noticed it. Oh, what, over here? Yeah, just over this there. Bit. It was, yeah. uh, it was, uh, I you could, could see, see the that. ground. And I thought, well, look, nah, 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 nah. I mean, that's a, that's a bywash. That should be flowing with water. I know, that's what um, Andy said. I think we can see. Oh. What's happening here? So apparently what we were told is, or what CRT said, is that these gates need repairing and they're on the list to be done in the winter. Nice. Well, <laughs> it's not even summer yet. So the question is why weren't they repaired the last time we had a load of stoppages? 
because they're going to have to go through a whole season like this and presumably get worse. Prevention is better than cure. That's my motto. How much water is coming out of this gate? That's a lot of water. CRT have been busy filling the other locks ahead of us and letting more water down. They've just come up to us and said we can carry on. So we've just got to top this lock up and then we'll be on our way to the next lock. This is the last lock before we moor up. It is about two o'clock, so we are due some lunch. Is it two o'clock, Steve? Yeah. Near enough, yeah, near enough. And the sign on the lock landing here on the lock gate says, don't let swans in the lock. Fair enough. She's on the other side now. She's very ambidextrous. Whatever that means. Ah, so this is our view then. We're going to be mooring up here. Not bad. Nice garden. Got to prune the roses though, I think. Ah, right, well, it's a bit wet at the moment, so we've moored up just in time. We're in a lovely spot, as recommended by, well, it's on Nebo, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, um, a certain person called Mark, thanks Mark. Thank you. Keeps going around taking photographs and recommending mooring spots. Yes, but, and, and also Wi-Fi and all sorts, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it says Wi-Fi yeah. and everything else, so um, if you haven't got Nebo, download it, it's free. Um, and you'll see Mark's little spots on there that says lovely moorings. And we're in one at the moment. Yeah, absolutely lovely. As you can see, lots of open countryside and fields. The bears couldn't fit in though, could they? No, not room for bears. No, so they've had to go a little bit round the corner and then under a bridge. Yeah. But we're going to meet up with them later. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed this particular vlog. A uh, little bit of jeopardy there at the end. Ooh. We'll... we'll <laughs> well, we won't. We get through the locks. Obviously, we did because we're here. Yeah. <laughs> but at the time, you never know. And CRT did say that uh, those lock gates are going to be repaired in the winter. Uh, bearing in mind, it's only just the start of. Well, it's not even really summer, is it? No. Um, so they've still got the whole of summer to go through. I'm mm. wondering whether they're going to actually make it to the. <laughs> Good luck with that. To winter. <laughs> Already <laughs> leaking quite badly, anyway. But there you go. So be prepared if you come in this way. If you've enjoyed this particular vlog don't forget thumbs up for a like as usual subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed it's Please. totally free and then when you subscribe press the bell icon ding well how musical <laughs> was that and it's got YouTube, cold <laughs> and youtube will notify you next time we upload a vlog if you want some extra content and bits and pieces and me writing a diary every now and again join us on patreon or as a channel member here on youtube 
in the meantime, stay safe, everybody. Happy cruising. See ya. Bye, Bye. for now.